Hello all, welcome to session 26 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to show you how to format the output using console.writeLine statements in C Sharp. So let's get started. I am going to show you how to format the output using console.writeLine statement in C Sharp with all these examples in this session. So let's get started with a basic one first. Okay, let me start with this basic one. So I'll write the program. So here I'll say string name is equal to Arun Motori. And uh, I'll write a print statement here that is console.writeLine statement. CW tap tap, you'll get that console.writeLine here. I'll write, I'll provide double quotes and say my name is space and I'll say plus name. Here, plus will act like a concatenation operator. Okay, this one string, this one string literal, you can say my name is, which is inside the double quotes is one string literal. That string literal is getting concatenated with using the plus symbol. Here, plus is not acting like an addition operator. Okay, in the previous session, I explained about the, in one of the previous sessions, I covered this plus operator, right? Which adds two numbers, five plus four is equal to nine. But in this case, plus is being used with different literals. Here's on the left side of the plus symbol, we have the string literal. On the right side, again, we have another string. Okay, my name. So here, plus will act like a, concatenation operator not addition operator so what will be the result my name is will be concatenated with my name arun motori so my name is arun motori will be printed in the output so if i run this code okay let me change something all right properties i need to select a proper uh, one here c sharp demo now i'll go back let me run this this time it should work okay my name is Arun Moturi got printed. Okay, here plus is acting like a concatenation operator, not an addition. He is, it is concatenating two strings. One string is string literal is provided directly. Another string literal is stored in a variable known as name. Okay, they both got concatenated and the resultant string we got. This is how the string can be concatenated. Okay, two strings can be concatenated. More examples I'll give you guys. Okay, here plus is acting like a concatenation operator instead of an addition operator. Let me give more examples here. What if I write something like this uh, console dot write line? Okay. Sum of five and four is plus five plus four. What will be the result for this? What do you think will be the result? So you may be thinking that the sum of five and four is nine will be printed, but it will not be printed as nine. Okay. The sum of five and four will be printed as 54 here. Let me show you the result first. After that, I'll explain why it is like so. You may be expecting that sum of i and 4 is 9 will be printed. Here, sum of i and 4 is printed as 54, not 9. Why? Because here what's happening is this plus operator is acting like a concatenation operator. So this particular string text, string literal text is getting concatenated with this 5. So sum of i and 4 is 5 is becoming another string. Okay, after concatenation, the resultant string is sum of five and four is five. And that string is getting concatenated with four. So here attaching is happening, not addition. Okay, here they are not getting added. Five and four are not getting added. They are concatenating to the string literals on the left side. Okay, this place is concatenating this five with this string literal. With this string literal, the four is getting concatenated. That's the result we are getting the output as sum of five and four is 54. So how to overcome this problem? To overcome this problem, if you remember in operator precedence, uh, the priority of the operators is done. If you provide something inside the circular, break, circular brackets, the circular brackets will be operated first. After that, the remaining things will happen. Here, plus will not be calculated first, okay? So here, five plus four will be calculated first. That is five plus four is nine. Sum of five and four is nine will be printed because five plus four will be calculated here first. After that only the string letter will be concatenated with the number nine here, okay? So this time you'll get the proper output. If you don't provide the circular brackets, you'll get 54. If you provide circular brackets, you'll get sum of five and four is nine. You are getting the proper output this time. Okay, so now one more example. So I'll simply do one more thing. Let's say int n is equal to five, I'll say, okay? Int n is equal to five. Now here, console.writeLine, I'll simply say n 
सम ऑफ एन एंड वन इज प्लस एन प्लस वन ओके लाइक दिस आई गिव व्हाट विल बी द रिजल्ट फॉर दिस एज यू ऑलरेडी नो व्हाट विल बी द रिजल्ट हियर दिस स्ट्रिंग विल बी दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग लिटरल टेक्स विल बी कंकैटेनेटेड विद एन व्हाट इज एन फाइव सम ऑफ एन एन एंड वन इज फाइव आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी कंकैटेनेटेड विद वन सो फिफ्टी वन विल बिकम फिफ्टी वन नॉट सिक्स विल बिकम फिफ्टी वन सम ऑफ एन एंड वन इज फिफ्टी वन विल बी प्रिंटेड इन द आउटपुट This is sum of n and one is 51 got printed in the output. What if I put this two things inside the circular brackets? N plus one inside circular brackets. Here, first n plus one will be calculated. That is five plus one will be calculated. Six it will become sum of n and one is six will be printed in the output. So on this, you see sum of n and one is six got printed after I put the circular brackets. Then next example, let's go with this uh, one more example. String. Name is equal to Arun Motori. String location is equal to my location Hyderabad. Then I'll give int experience is equal to twelve. Some number, random number. Okay, it's not real my experience. My experience is more than that, but just I'm giving some random number twelve. So here I'll say C W. I'll say my name is okay. I uh, using the concatenation operator. I want to print all these three details in a single line. Okay, so what I will do here is my name is I'll say plus name. Again, I'll add plus and continue this. Okay, uh, my name is okay. Arun Motor will be printed. After that, I'll put a comma. I am from space plus location. I'll say I am from which location? Hyderabad. Okay, that will be printed here. Again, say plus again here. Lot of plus I am using plus 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 symbol plus all this plus symbol will act like a concatenation operator. Okay, and I have around plus experience plus years of experience. Like this, I'll write. Okay, so in a single statement. You see, using the concatenation operators, I created a string text. Okay, resultant string text will be this much big. My name is in place of name, Arun Motor will come. Okay, this is how we can use the plus operator. I am from location. Location will be replaced with Hyderabad. Okay, this is how the concatenation will happen with the string literals. Okay, and I have around experience will be replaced with twelve, twelve years of experience. Okay, now run this code. We'll get the same result. My name is Arun Motori, comma. I am from Hyderabad, and I have around twelve years of experience. Okay, fine. That's great. So this is one way of uh, printing. So there are other ways also, guys. Okay, there are other ways. I can simplify this. Whatever the way I have written here, I can simplify that. How means here? Wherever I am putting this, uh, instead of providing all this stuff, right? I'll just remove this part, and here I'll put zero. Simple zero. Okay. And in place of this uh, location part, I'll remove all this stuff and give the number one. Here zero, then here one, and here in place of experience, I'll give two like this. Okay, zero, one, two. So after this, I'll put a comma, and what should be passed into zero here? Name. Okay, I'll put name here. Comma. What should go into one? Location should go into one. Location. Comma. What should go into two? Experience should go into two. So I'll give experience here. Okay, the order in which zero, one, two are provided there. Same order I'll provide. After this uh, string literal text, I'll provide name, location, experience. Now if I run the code, I'll get the same result, guys. My name is in place of zero. Arun Motor will come. You see, in place of zero, Arun Motor came. I am from in place of one. Whatever the variable I gave here, that is location came and. All the strings came right. I have around 12 plus uh, 12 years of experience. Done. So this is another way. Okay, this is another way of uh, formatting the output using the console dot write line statements in C sharp. The last one, guys. Last one. Okay. So what if there are decimal values uh, and uh, okay? So that's okay. Okay to have the decimal values. For example, if I give three three five here, 12.3 five here, I have to give double right. In case of this, I have to give double. Run this code. That will come. Not a problem. 12.35 years of experience will come. That's okay. 
but there is another situation that pops in i'll tell you what is that situation i'll say double double uh, some mileage okay double mileage is equal to 34 point uh, otherwise uh, 21 point 123 Six, seven, eight, four. Okay, like this. Some random value I'm giving. Okay, console dot write line. Here, what I will do here is, I want to print this mileage, but not all this much of decimal values. Okay, if I directly print mileage here, what will be printed? Just see. So, uh, mileage of my car is. Okay, so here I'll say zero. I'll put a zero here. And after that, I'll put a comma and say mileage. So in place of zero, what will go? In place of zero, what will go? Mileage, mileage will go. That is twenty-one point one two three six seven eight four will go. Okay, let's see whether it is coming or not. Mileage of my car is twenty-one point all these numbers eight four. Okay, total numbers came, but I don't want all these total numbers. Okay, I only want uh, up to one two three. Okay, twenty-one point one two three. So what I will do here is after zero, I'll put a colon symbol. And here before dot how many hash hash right uh, only two places so for that I have to say hash 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 two places say dot after two places then dot after dot I want only three 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 numbers okay I only want three numbers so I'll give hash 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 only three so this six is a number which is greater than five so this uh, before number will be rounded off to four okay one two three Six, but it will uh, since you are consizing it to only three three digits after the decimal, it will become one to four guys. Okay, because of six, it will become four. So now let's run this. Mileage of my car is twenty one point one two four. Okay, like this it will come. Only three digits after the decimal came because of this format. Okay, like this also is possible. So these are the different examples guys using which we can format the output using console dot write line statements in C sharp. So that's all for this session guys uh, in the next session I'm going to cover another cshop.net topic till then see you bye bye